Well, at RIT, uh, we really believe that uh, a robust wireless network is, is something that's really critical to our educational mission. Uh, we think it has a big effect on uh, the success of students uh, and ultimately really uh, works to make us uh, more competitive. One of the biggest benefits is really the freedom and flexibility uh, that having pervasive wireless provides. Uh, we have to remember that uh, just about everyone nowadays has wireless at home, and when they come to our campus, they bring uh, mobile devices, usually more than one. Uh, and uh, that leads to an expectation that's really become a requirement uh, in how people live and uh, learn and uh, work and play. Um, we deployed wireless in, in a way to really exceed those expectations uh, so that our community could uh, uh, really think outside the box and uh, uh, figure out innovative ways of, of using it and uh, find new applications for it. What we can do now is uh, we can really support high concentrations of people using high bandwidth applications uh, really in just about anywhere on campus in any building. Um, one of the things that we're most excited about really exploring the opportunities with is, is uh, being able to use mobile video conferencing for, for sign language interpretation for our deaf and hard hearing students on campus. So uh, some of the ways that uh, people are using it, uh, well, first thing that comes to mind are, are the kind of the usual things, uh, but doing that in, in more locations. So uh, obviously uh, people are using uh, YouTube and, and viewing videos and, and those kinds of things, as well as uh, downloading movies from iTunes and, and those kinds of applications. Um, some of the more interesting things are things like our maintenance group that uh, pretty quickly went mobile. And uh, so now they're using uh, laptops to connect to the uh, HVAC systems, for example, that are connected to our network, uh, et cetera, instead of being uh, tied down to a desk to do that. Um, we also have you know, Wi-Fi controlled robots uh, being used in uh, educational curriculum. And uh, we have uh, students that are collaborating, and they're free now to collaborate really wherever they feel most comfortable doing it, rather than being tied down to certain areas where they can get access to resources, they have access to them. Uh, just about anywhere. Um, uh, also, I'd mentioned uh, mobile video conferencing, and uh, you know we also have uh, uh, people that are now using uh, uh, their mobile devices and shifting TV onto those devices so that uh, you know they have that entertainment with them as another alternative. Well, we chose Cisco after uh, an extensive evaluation. Uh, we looked at the, the usual things like uh, you know, finances and support and, and performance, but we also did uh, uh, live testing in our production environments. Um, and uh, after uh, all of that, we looked at the results, and, and for us, uh, we determined that the best choice was, uh, was this.